And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Since Bible times, bread has been a staple part of mankind's diet. Today, that's still true in many parts of the world, including the Southern Asia Division. Every day, millions of people in this division eat the popular whole wheat flatbread called chapatis. Join us as we learn more about the countries, people, and challenges of the Southern Asia Division and how we can share the bread of life with them. At first glance, with only four countries, the Southern Asia Division would seem like a small division. The four countries that make up this division are Bhutan, Nepal, the Maldives, and India. In the country of Bhutan, three quarters of the population is Buddhist. The remaining 25% are Hindu. Hinduism is the main religion in Nepal, with 80% of the population and Islam is the dominant religion of the Maldives. The country of India, with some 1.2 billion people, dominates the Southern Asia division in both size and population. The sheer numbers alone make it one of the more challenging divisions of Adventist mission. India today is a mix of modern and traditional, rural and urban. Although India's historic ties with Britain are still evident today, as shown by the children's game of cricket, India has a rich and ancient history. Ancient buildings and caves remain as reminders of India's more distant past. This region of the world was the birthplace to Buddhism and Hinduism, religions that are still found in the countries of the Southern Asia Division. Every year, thousands of pilgrims flock to the Ganges River, sacred to Hindus. Here they perform ritual baths and launch candlelit offerings across the waters. Although India's economy is growing rapidly, many people still live below the poverty level. Almost half the people in India cannot read and write. Many suffer from disease and poor quality food. Although there are more than 1.4 million Seventh-day Adventists in India, there are still millions of people who have never heard the Adventist message, and there are still large, unentered areas. The foundation for the Adventist Church's growth in India was laid more than a hundred years ago as Adventist schools were established throughout the region. Thousands of non-Christian students enrolled in Adventist schools where they could study English, one of India's two official languages. Here in these schools, they learned more than their lessons. They also learned about a God who loves them. Today, Adventist schools continue to have a reputation for academic excellence and a caring and safe environment for children. Student applications continue to exceed enrollment capacities. The Seventh-day Adventist Church operates more than 245 Adventist schools in India, with more than 130,000 students. Less than 10% of the students are Adventist. Many of the students come to the schools seeking a quality education, but they also have an opportunity to learn about Jesus. 
Several years ago, the Southern Asia Division recognized that many Seventh-day Adventist young people were not able to attend Seventh-day Adventist schools. Some of them weren't attending any school at all. So Dorothy Watts, a former editor of the Mission Magazine and wife of former Southern Asia Division President Ron Watts, set up a sponsorship program so Adventists around the world could help send worthy Adventist students to Adventist schools. She called the program Adventist Child India. While programs such as India's Children and organizations like Asian Aid help sponsor students, the schools still struggle to keep pace with the needs. Schools are often crowded and need more classrooms and better facilities so they can help more children have access to a good Christian education. The need for classrooms isn't the only challenge facing Adventists in the Southern Asia Division. Many congregations don't have a decent church building where they can worship. In a land where temples and shrines are such an important part of religious life, Adventist church buildings can shine like beacons of light in a community. On any given day, some 3,000 congregations of believers need a church in which to worship. As quickly as a church is built, it's filled with those wanting to know about Jesus. Other congregations continue to form as evangelism spreads across the division, and more simple church buildings are needed to house them. Often in Southern Asia, a congregation without a church is ridiculed or shunned by their neighbors. But when the congregation completes even a simple church building, sometimes those same people come to hear the message of God's love. The Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Southern Asia Division is growing. Most of this growth has occurred in the past 16 years. In 1995, the division had a membership of fewer than 200,000. Thanks to your support of the world budget and mission offerings, people in the Southern Asia Division are learning about a God who loves. They are learning that there is hope in Jesus. Soon new Adventist churches will stand as testimony to the presence of Jesus. People will have a place to worship and somewhere they can invite their friends and neighbors to visit. And students and teachers will have new classrooms so more students will have an opportunity to learn lessons that will last beyond this lifetime. Please pray for the people of the Southern Asia Division and please help support this quarter's mission offerings.